Go. Uh, hello. Um, so I finally put together my uh, Peggy 2 board. Um, it was created by uh, Wendell Oske at uh, Evil Mad Scientist. And it's a 2D um, sort of peg, peg board where you can control each individual light. And I thought that this would be a great platform to show off uh, one of the, the sort of history of physics greatest model, the, the Ising model. Um, so what I did is hooked up uh, a Arduino with an LCD display uh, showing you the current temperature and uh, the critical temperature. This, this temperature actually isn't in any degrees or of Kelvin or Fahrenheit or Celsius. It's just uh, sort of relative to the Ising model. But um, Ansonger, uh, this famous physicist, showed uh, or proved that the critical temperature for a 2D Ising model is uh, around 2.27 degrees. Um, so what I have here is this, the, the Peggy's running the Ising model and I'm sending uh, the temperature from this Arduino setup to the, the Peggy board. Um, and I'm counting the steps down this way and I'm showing the temperature over here. So as I, and I'm also showing the temperature here. So as I lower the temperature, you'll find more clustering. And eventually if I go all the way to zero, everything will become solid. Uh, and then we just keep on counting, counting our steps. So what we have here is actually all the unpaired electrons uh, pointing in the same direction. We have a net magnetization. Um, and as I increase the temperature, doo -doo 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 -doo, uh, we don't, we lose our magnetization. So this is sort of a, a theory that helped uh, sort of shed the, or pave the way for how magnetization as a function of temperature uh, happens. So you can see this in um, nickel or copper or um, as you as you change the temperature you will get magnetization or lose magnetization thanks